Hello everyone and uh, let me uh, welcome Dr. Saloni Dagger. She is a proud Damsonian and she scored an amazing score of 806 in NEET 2018. Heartiest congratulations Saloni. It's an awesome performance. So how do you feel? I'm feeling good but waiting for ranks still. Yeah, I know, I know. And how uh, is everybody at home happy? They're happy. Again, everyone's still waiting for the ranks officially. I'm sure they're going to be really good. And um, uh, Saloni, um, you've been a TND student with us um, this year. And, um, you know, a lot of other students also do the same course. And, uh, you know, they would want to know that if we want to be in Saloni's place and be a topper, what do we need to do? What do, what do we need to do? So, how to go about uh, if you are doing a TND course and how important do you think uh, is it for you? Uh, so, I uh, actually started studying a little bit during my internship. Okay. But uh, because internship used to be very uh, heavy, so I couldn't keep up. Right. So, I was quite split. So, middle of the year, I realized that I can't. So I gave up a little bit uh -huh. and I was reading a little bit throughout internship also, but not so much. Mm -hmm. And then post internship, I joined TND okay. here and uh, I started as the subjects went. Okay. And uh, so you followed the schedule yes. to start with. Yes. Right. And uh, initially I tried fitting in a little bit extra. Like mm -hmm. I used to give one or two days to subjects I thought I'd do also. Oh, okay. But uh, then eventually I decided to go with the test and discussion ka flow. Okay. And and uh, test and discussion usually I used to study for uh, from the notes right. uh, and uh, then go for the test and then come back and see what I don't know. Okay. And uh, test and discussion used to be helpful because a lot of times when I used to read through the week, I used to read something and then test and discussion would be totally different or right. something not so so much I had read. So I so get you would to know, know that what I need to do exactly, now. Exactly, exactly. So I used to make that a point. So I think uh, not only giving the paper is important, when once you come back, I think uh -huh. assessment of your paper is True. even more important. True. And I used to try also to take the test. Like some people, like initially internship time, I used to miss tests. So right, right. Not appear for the test. So in uh, during th uh, this TND, I used to practice like taking those uh, tests also like in that limited one hour and whatever right. number of because questions. I think it is there's really not a point in attending a discussion if you haven't been through uh -huh. the paper because you know you never go back to the paper after the discussion exactly, exactly. and you don't go back to it and you don't know thing. how the twist had been created and how the options could be confusing till you oh, actually there I fall also yes that's what right that's right so so what the teacher is good enough to tell you how to approach an MCQ because I think along with your theory content and your revision, a lot of thing is also an you know uh, an exam skill. So, uh, did you learn that that skill of it approaching gradually, a question? Gradually, gradually. Uh, I faltered a lot. Okay. I think I took a lot of uh, pressure during uh, the AIMS and uh, PJI exams. Okay. I used to at least the AIMS exam. I took a lot of pressure. Even the CBT when the CBT happened, I took it very in a different mo frame of mind. Okay. But on the day that AIMS happened, I know that I was extremely stressed and extremely yeah. nervous. So at home, my mother could tell that I am not going to do well today because the way I looked in the morning she knew okay. like because I was very tensed right so in gradually I decided that I cannot go to these exams like this so I started like because even when the TND was happening the slightly different frame of mind I think post times I got this shock that I don't take these exams and, so and you realized how important it is to, to Give the yeah to uh, to do the same format over and over again so that you know it doesn't bother you on the day of the exam. That is very important. True. The more tests you give, it has to come naturally to you. The the fear of the paper per se and the day has to go if you have to perform well, which I think is important. So that's what she's stressing on. You know, the giving the test is very very important. And uh, did you give the grant test as well? Yes, Saloni? I started doing that a little late in the year, but okay. uh, I started taking the grant and the subject, uh, subject both, by all right, both, all right, all right. because you know uh, the the test and discussion is a su on a subject wise basis and the grant test is like a, a mixed bag mixed so bag. does does that did that help you yes because uh, eventually I think 
two revisions down i was not willing or i was not feeling up to looking at the notes again and again and yes. also i was looking at the notes in the same way that which i was is, looking at them which is absolutely right i think that i i i can understand what you're trying yeah. to say because you read the same lines in the same format and sort of again miss you the miss same thing same thing yes. so uh, taking those tests and some of them used to be really difficult yes. and i would score really badly but at least i would know that these are topics that are being repeated constantly so did you keep a note of all those sub topics yeah, i used to bookmark uh, those questions right yes so there's an option of bookmark, bookmark and then you can go back and yes. particularly look at those sub topics yes. which and, you've sort of done wrong and always uh, making a note that this is what i need to so usually i would open the notes after the test and go back to topics i did not uh, maybe do so well which in. is i think how you should do a test so that's it's again a point which comes up that assessment of the test paper is even more important than giving the test because uh, then you will not be able to work up on your weaknesses that's great mm -hmm. and uh, since you have done all the tests with us on the whether the online ones or the grand test or the subject test or the class test uh, what do you think is the level of the, of the questions that we gave is it good enough for your exam preparation and does I it hit the exam i think it's a mixed bag uh, they give easy questions they give uh, questions which are sort of like how they are in aims and in pgi okay. and also very straightforward right. without any tricks sort of questions that appear in neat i a think and then sometimes you apply tricks even tricks on the simple even ones and you ones. sort so of fall over think yes, yes. i ha had a habit of overthinking every question mm -hmm. right and uh, thinking too much and so going to so you have to realize that a paper things. is going to have all sorts all of sorts. questions and i think this is how neat exactly was yes. it had some easy ones it had some mediocre things and it had some bouncers yes. as well so so i think uh, you like people at dams they really prepare you for all kinds and uh, it's helpful that you would and it's not also i think similar kind of questions i think get boring also i think i get really bored soon yes. of things so i like yes. a mixed bag if it's a clinical vignette or a Yes, or exactly, and you have to be ready for all patterns because you know all these exams have been changing their patterns over True. and over again. So you can't really study for one, one pattern. pattern. You have to study the subject as a whole. Topics. Yeah, that's what everyone at uh, Dams kept saying that you study your notes, revise your uh, right. topics, and not. or uh, you know mcqs like that is the one major dilemma i had beginning of the year like so that's what i was going to come to that you know doing guide books vis a vis your theory you know uh, a lot of people want to do it retrograde because they find it as a easier yeah, task but it doesn't pay you in the end right so i uh, i did realize that first i have to have to build on uh, my, theory my theory content yeah, and right. revise it at least a couple of times mm -hmm. and then uh, because after that you can go to questions to mm -hmm. cer a certain extent not completely again i tried uh, so towards the end of my preparation i tried doing questions so that i'd know what all to go back to to revise in theory but initially right. it was primarily notes and dams test papers because dams test papers some of the test papers were very comprehensive you wouldn't even uh, have to even go back to proper theory because everything was, was covered sort of covered in the discussion yes so uh, we we try and make the discussion most high yielding so that when you have less time and you have to sort of revise you can just pick up a paper and yeah. and revise the subjects from it all right that's great and um, were you a part of the dams exclusive club yes i was a part of the dams exclusive club i think the club used to keep me up <laughs> like quite a bit like because mm -hmm. each time because we are all social media addicts so yes. we tend to uh, go on to facebook and each time you see other people posting these doubts so one thing that it used to lead to was you know so many people are studying and they're reading wow. all this and i don't know this so i better so i up. i have seen this new aspect of the club today yeah. from, from <laughs> hearing it out from you and it is nice you and know because i think if, uh, we need a little push at all times of our life True. and uh, i mean i i also and then it was very easy to post doubts because you can't always uh, come to class and ask doubts so were the teachers responsive very enough very responsive and uh, usually you tag uh, teachers and they respond in at maximum a day and which is good yeah. because your doubts get solved and also uh, the teachers post a lot of uh, updates uh, yes 
So uh, I used to follow uh, Mams uh, Vignettes, uh, and eventually I think some very helpful person in the group made a PDF of yes, it. Yes, and and he sent it to me as well. Yes. <laughs> so that and uh, other than that, Diksha Mams posts used to be really helpful. Right. Uh, she used to, I used to actively try search for Diksha Mams posts mm-hmm. because. a lot of things i think i had to add to my notes because she should teach them so well that right. certain things became absolutely yes and, and then then there are some subjects which are very uh, image oriented yes. and it's always better to, to have, have a look, look. than to just read them and pathology i think is definitely one of those and subjects and uh, also i think psm very difficult for us to keep up with each update and i think last year was very uh, dynamic in terms of how many Change. updates yes yes happened. and so i think yours uh, your has been the batch that we've actually taught the maximum over the past 5 year course because we've actually we've actually done a lot of work on 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 this particular batch and uh, we were all uh, you know up for any kind of changes Haan, and so make I you ready for it and so i think i if i did not have the dam support in general you wouldn't get to know like you can read the notes yeah but you wouldn't get to know all these updates and updates i think are very important because you revise something constantly and then that gets changed so you have yes, to yes and it and it comes in the exam yeah it always pretty much comes yes. and you can expect it to come <laughs> that's that's great okay and uh, saloni since you've secured a hu- you know a very good score and 806 which is i think tremendous uh, uh, i think i believe uh, that revision forms an important part of your preparation so maybe your juniors and your colleagues want to know that uh, you know what sort of they could do a, uh, let's say a month before the exam and then close to the exam uh, to help them out uh so uh, i think first uh, try to segregate the year into parts so okay. that's what i tried doing so okay. i okay uh you always overshoot your goals but you mm-hmm. have to set them high so that even when you overshoot you sort of you still have a margin right but i tried that first half of the year at least with the test series i was done with uh, all subjects pretty Great. much and i also knew what topics i was not so thorough with very good so you had a you had it completely charted out after it you know sort yes. of giving the test that yes This so is what I need to do now. Yes, and then uh, revisions began. So I tried doing one revision. I uh, saw. I think guided us on the group as yes. to how to go about revisions. Also, for me, I think I read a little slower. So I think I got over ambitious, but I think it was okay because eventually you have to revise. Yeah. And uh, but uh, so I tried uh, revising till the uh, CBT uh, happened. Okay. So you you marked CBT as your CBT landmark as for your landmark. first revision. And uh, I overshot it, but I tried as much. as possible and she that. did pretty well she had a uh, you know a, a rank of 277 which i think again told you what you need to push from here on and uh, then uh, uh, cbt 2 was another like i think uh, then aims and pj happened in the middle and pj again i took as another landmark because aims i uh, messed up because of my time management so okay. i and also how stressed i got so mm-hmm. for me it became very important to not uh, per se take so much stress on the day of the exam and right. the previous night so i am a person that i cannot go to sleep early but i forced my and uh, i forced myself to go to bed at 11 and okay. not check anything after uh-huh. 11 i know you have to have sort of a faith before the exam that you are done with it and yes. and now it it's really not going to change yes. a lot of things and uh, also in the day of the exam i went in a good mood at least in the pgi exam i went in a good mood and i went with that attitude that if this happens it's okay if this doesn't happen it's okay but i just need to take it right right okay and uh, so i did fine in pgi and that was a good um, i think it encouraged me to work on so that that's strategy. again important that you should give all exams that come your way because each exam teaches you something True. and it builds your strength and tells you your weakness so you do the next one a little better True. right and uh, i think then thereafter there was cbt to so, so i think CBT. that's what she's saying that she is once she started on revising she had set herself as target so cbt 1 was the first target the second was her pgi and november exams and then the third was cbt 2 so i think which sort of quite sums up your uh, revision process Landmarks. which was quite extensive and i think which has helped as well and, and uh, after which i got tired of at least revising my notes so post cbt i tried doing a lot of questions that's great and going back retrograde to revise so i don't uh, say that retrograde revision is bad but i say that you have to have your uh, notes thorough for that definitely because uh, i think you would agree on uh, with me on that that they aren't really repeating questions in the exams they aren't it's so only the subtopics to, yes. right so 
there's no point mugging up the mcqs and True. thinking that you're going to do well in the exams True. and there are certain topics that you forget no matter how many times at least right. with me there were certain topics that i just forget no many how no matter how many times i used to revise them so those went up on the wall <laughs> that's nice and, and uh, you could just see them see over and over, over, again. over again great and finally we come on to the paper strategy right so neat has again changed their pattern so this year we had negative marking and uh, i think we had about 40 to 45 visual questions so on both the fronts i would want to know how many questions did you attempt so i attempted uh, 300 in neat wow okay so she has attempted all and people she has done pretty well so all of you out there who think going defensive is the way um, you know sort of doesn't work out i think i learned that over this year because i initially went to little defensive uh, okay. during aims and pci which i decided that neat will be all or none yeah so either i go full out or you know i hold back so i decided let's just go with and, it and and all's well that ends and well and ma'am uh, i think uh, ma'am kept saying that you go with your first instinct and usually in my case again the first instinct is uh is the right one, one. Yes. so i don't uh, you want know, to go and recheck, recheck and change huh. things huh. although i tried uh, i think we should all when we are preparing for these kind of exams i think you should all have this in mind that you're not going to change too many answers in the exam because you sort of do land up making mistakes because please remember that the options have been added to confuse you okay that is the entire purpose of putting the options so the you the more you go back to them the more you're bound to overthink mm -hmm. and you're bound to uh, so sort of I had left about half an hour for revision during NEET. Like okay. I tried finishing it. I tried uh, breaking it down into uh, an hour each, and then half an hour for revision. Right. So uh, my goal was hundred uh, like per hour, hundred yeah, per yeah, hour, yeah. and uh, then half an hour for revision. Although I had the time to revise, I just went through it, but tried not changing not answers. Not changing. Because and I think I think that must have helped for sure. <laughs> because I I do make mistakes when I overthink. I think we all do. That is that comes to us very naturally. Yes. Uh, perfect. And uh, was DVT helpful for the visuals that came in the NEET? Uh, yeah, I think dams throughout was very helpful with. Uh, the visuals and dvt especially because you can always go uh the dvt slides were always available right so, so you could look at them even as when you were revising you could go back surgery and gynae and so many uh, radio right. so so many uh, subjects that you need to actually look at images to exactly. understand but i think i don't think you need to specifically focus on visuals like separately like it i think i totally agree with her on that because they're a part and parcel of your revision and i think once you have done the dvt and you're revising it you don't have to spend any extra time yes. on on while you're revising you can simultaneously exactly. look up the images that's so that's great that and uh, i think whatever you did has sort of worked out for you and uh, there are some very wise pieces of advice on the revision strategies i think she gave it, gave it out to you very very clearly because yes that holds a very important role uh, in the exam preparation so once again saloni heartiest congratulations Thank from you. everyone here at dams we wish you a very bright future ahead and um, please stay connected right yes god definitely. bless any last Thank minute you. advice that you want to give i think uh, as everyone at dams keeps saying they just persist and keep going on and don't lose the heart if you don't do well initially i think i lost it in the middle but mm -hmm. i you have to persist and i think the only way through this year is to move forward wonderful uh, so yes persist belief and move on right yeah. all right saloni thank you so much god bless you thank you ma'am